Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Maximilian Kolbe, a priest and a martyr. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for the worthy celebration of the Holy Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Our God, who filled the priest and martyr Saint Maximilian Kolbe with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with the zeal of zeal for Saul and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession the striving for your glory by eagerly serving others. We may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will deal with you according to what you have done, you who despised your oath, breaking a covenant. Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you when you were a girl, and I will set up an everlasting covenant with you. Then you shall remember your conduct and be ashamed when I take your sisters, those older and younger than you, and give them to you as daughters, even though I am not bound by my covenant with you. For I will reestablish my covenant with you, that you may know that I am the Lord, that you may remember and be covered with confusion and that you may be utterly silenced for shame. When I pardon you for all you have done, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. You have turned from your anger. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You have turned from your anger. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name who have turned from your anger. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You have turned from your anger. Alleluia, alleluia. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, man must not separate. Then they said to him, Then why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so, some because they were made so by others, some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. While teaching about marriage, did Jesus give a new law? Or Jesus is asking more for men and women united in marriage? People question him, then why Moses allowed the bill of divorce for a man to divorce his wife? Jesus says it is because of the hardness of your heart. We have same hardness of your uh, hardness of the heart, but Jesus gives us new law and asks us more. In fact, it is not new law. He is restoring the original purpose and intent of the Creator when He Creator instituted the marriage. Jesus says, it was not the same at the beginning. In the beginning, it was not the same. In the beginning, God intended a perfect marriage. And the first couple lived a perfect union until they were tempted, failed, and disobeyed. It is now, in the new era, Jesus restores the grace of marriage. He brings back the original grace of marriage so that even in this difficult time, even at present, you can become perfect with the grace of God. So in fact, Jesus is not giving a new law, rather restoring the original intent of marriage by the Creator God Himself. And He is offering new grace which through his self-sacrifice, he zeal the marriages in the world. Let us pray for 
the grace of marriage and especially those struggle in their life because of the imperfections god bless us all together in God's holy presence we pray to for the needs of all gather here for all members of our holy church may God look graciously upon our efforts and needs in serving his kingdom let us pray to the lord our here our For civic leaders may the holy spirit lead them in the ways of charity and justice let us pray to the lord Amen. for married couples who face difficulties may god's grace give them strength in their work toward reconciliation let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for this faith community as we celebrate this feast of saint maximilian kolbe May God imbue in us a sacrificial love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they find eternal joy and comfort in the presence of God our Father, especially Joanne Trainer, who we remember at this mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father. We ask that you look favorably on the prayers of this assembly and grant them according to your will. We ask this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father We present our oblation to you O Lord humbly praying that we may learn from the example of Saint Maximilian to offer our very lives to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father almighty eternal god for the blood of your blessed martyr maximilian kolbe poured out like christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous work by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your good witness to Christ our lord and so with all the powers of heaven we worship constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Bless your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread toward the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Archbishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and are worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word my soul. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O oh Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed by the same fire of charity that Maximilian received from this holy banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks dear God. God. Say, Michael, be all defense against wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits all about the world. Jesus.